Horsepower or torque? Which one moves you down the road? Which one makes your car faster? I'll tell you and prove it to you. And then of course, I'll give you your moment of Roger at the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, you might think that I'm just some dude lecturing to a camera about something I may have learned in a book somewhere. And there are channels like that. And usually when they go to make a car, it doesn't turn out so good. But I'm coming at it from the other perspective. I've spent decades making cars fast. I've learned what works and what doesn't work. You can check out other videos in my channel. There's, there's dyno videos, there's track videos. We do all kinds of fun stuff with cars. And that hopefully will explain to you where I'm coming from. This ain't no book learning here. Now that that's out of the way, let's figure out which one is more important and which one you should strive for when trying to make your car fast. Let's start with the simple definition of torque. Torque is simply a twisting force. That's all it is. There's no time attached to it. There's no distance attached to it, nothing. It is effectively a static force. Don't believe me? Grab a torque wrench and go find a semi truck and put 50 pounds of torque on one of the lug nuts. It's not gonna move. You're applying the torque, but no work is getting done. That's torque. Now what's horsepower? Horsepower is the ability to move 550 pounds one foot in one second. That is the definition of horsepower. And that is the definition of work. Watts is another definition of work. In fact, Watts was named after James Watt. Horsepower was named after Mr. Horse. <laughs> Actually, that was a term coined by James Watt, the same guy. So one horsepower equals 746 watts, approximately. So horsepower, simply put, is an actual measure of work. I've made this statement in another video that got a lot of people up in arms, especially the older guys who seem to think, yeah, torque is what moves you down the road. No, it does not, because torque has no movement attached to it. It can't move you down the road. Now, granted, that's mostly a semantic argument, and I understand what they're driving at. They, they're saying, oh, you want tons of low-end torque to go fast. Well, is that really the case? Well, we're going to find out in this video and the next few videos following this. But I did make this point in a previous video. I said, if you have a million foot pounds of torque, but it takes three days to make a revolution, you're making almost no horsepower. Specifically, you're making 6.7 horsepower. That's not very much. You're not gonna go very far or very fast, even though you have a million foot pounds of torque. So what is torque good for? Well, frankly, breaking things. That's really what it's all about. Because in order to withstand that million foot pounds of torque, you need some very beefy drive shafts, you would need a very beefy axle, you would need very beefy gears, transmission, all of that stuff has to be able to withstand that twisting force of a million foot pounds. Now, granted, it does it very slowly, but still that twisting force is there. But it doesn't make you very fast. It's just that simple. Horsepower is way more important than simple torque. Now, it does get kind of complicated when you start talking about the entire drivetrains, particularly in automatic cars, and that's something that we're gonna go into in other videos, but effectively, this one is real simple, real short, real sweet. Torque doesn't move you down the road. It can't, because there's no rotational speed attached to it. Once you attach a rotational speed to it, you no longer have torque, you now have horsepower. Now you can calculate horsepower from torque, provided you also know the RPM. So the equation is simple. It's simply RPM divided by 5252 times torque. That equals horsepower. And that is also why dynos, particularly chassis dynos that don't have eddy current brakes, in other words, the fundamental working principle of a chassis dyno does not and cannot measure torque directly but you still get an accurate horsepower number and you can derive torque from that. Now, is that all that's involved in making your car fast? Absolutely not, because there's one thing that horsepower and torque do not take into account, and that's acceleration. Horsepower does not define acceleration, neither does torque. Acceleration is defined by a whole slew of variables, and that's gonna be in another video where we talk about which car is gonna be faster one that makes 500 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, or one that makes 500 horsepower at 7,000 RPM. That's kind of interesting, but 
there is also a defined general answer for that as well. So I know this was a short video, but thanks for watching. Go ahead and please give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. Check out the other stuff, the electric turbo stuff has been a lot of fun, our dyno sessions, our track sessions, and all that happy jazz. We've been having a blast doing that. And thanks sincerely for your time. Please comment down below. I mean, maybe you disagree with me, but I really don't know what there is to disagree with here. I mean, these are just simple statements of fact, but that notwithstanding, enjoy your moment of Roger.